the face of politics is changing on a daily basis, even at the local level, there are new faces stepping forward to serve. On the island of Andros, Wanda Ramming answered the call to assist in the development of her North Andros community. Julian Gibson has a story. She has had no regrets since taking the office of the chief consular position in North Andros. In fact, if Wanda Ramming had to do it all over again, she would have offered her service to the people much earlier. I have absolutely no regret because, you know, it's always good to give back to your community in a very positive way. And I feel being involved in local government, it gives me a chance to give back to my community in a positive way in terms of making good decisions um, on how we move forward on what sort of development that, you know, comes to the island. So exactly how has it been for the first ever female chief councillor? It's been great. Um, the economy is rather slow. Most persons here um, are employed by the government agencies, um, like the Ministry of Works local government. Um, we have BTC, um, BEC, that sort of thing. Um, persons rely on farming, they rely on fishing, and you know, you have the local district council who hires quite a bit of persons in the community whether they are janitors in the schools or securities, whether they are persons to maintain the roads. Now, along with our council members, they are not just sitting around. They have some infrastructure plans for Andrews. We're looking into doing inspections and all the buildings that are not um, structurally sound to have them removed um, to just beautify the, the community a bit. Um, the streets, we, we're looking forward to the upcoming road work because our roads are in ex, you know, extremely poor condition. So we're looking forward to all of, um, I understood Mr. Nemour is coming in, so we're looking forward to have our roads repaired and even that itself would even give you a better peace of mind to know that you, you, you're riding on good roads. Um, we want to clean up our community because you need a healthier and a cleaner environment. Reporting for ZNS News, I am Julian Gibson. The Grand Bahama Power Company was the topic of discussion during an early morning business meeting. Members of the Rotary Club of Sunrise on the island of Grand Bahama heard details of a document that was preferred or prepared by a local consultant several years ago to help bring relief to electricity consumers. But as Sabrina Brown tells us, there is reportedly no evidence that the regulator is being guided by those recommendations. Executive of the Grand Bahama Power Company and President of Sherrod John Investments, Roger Johnson, told the business leaders that in 2008, the Grand Bahama Port Authority, which regulates the Grand Bahama Power Company, requested that he compile a comprehensive report on the concerns of the island's only electricity provider. But Johnson noted that the role of the regulator must first be defined. No one seemed to know. I've never seen or heard of a document which actually uh, outlines uh, the areas of which the regulator has uh, sway. The 14-page document outlines suggestions and solutions on areas of major concern to consumers, such as the pricing of electricity, the calculation of fuel surcharge, customer complaints, and meter reading. The veteran electrical engineer also indicated that as attempts are made to address these issues, there should be greater transparency and public involvement. I'd like to see it uh, such that uh, the public knows what the role of the regulator is. The public called upon by the regulator to say, you know, uh, a rate increase is being sought, let's talk. Mm -hmm. uh, the public called upon to say, we have been hearing about the many complaints, uh, let's talk about them. And the regulator then uh, pointing to the regulated entity, the steps that are necessary. Johnson is also of the view that the regulator should impose penalties for non-compliance, including the cancellation of their license agreement. Now, it's been three years since the recommendations were compiled and presented to the Port Authority, and Johnson said, to the best of his knowledge, the document is still on the table. The president of the uh, Grand Mama Port Authority, Ms. Ian Roll, he talks with them. We've had meetings, and uh, I have outlined certain aspects to him in a report which I had prepared and uh, prior to his meeting with them. So I, I feel like uh, there is a line of communication. Uh, how deep it is and the depth, I don't know. Sabrina Brown, ZNS News.
Keep those Family Island stories coming. Email us at finews at znsbahamas.com. Faz, good evening.